Prime Minister Mario Monti faces a dilemma as he ends his 13 months at the helm of a technocrat government in Italy, where he was drafted in to execute basically a fiscal austerity program to restore sustainability and confidence in Italy's public finances. Mr. Monti has been a rather novel experience, although it must be said that about every 20 years Italy has a technocrat government. There were some in the early 1990s that also did blood and tears reforms and uh, were very sort of fiscally serious. He's also very concerned that his departure will remove his voice from the European policy debate, which is why he rarely criticizes his main rival, Pierre Luigi Bersani of the Democratic Party, but he's concerned that that person will not have the same clout and prestige as he does on the European stage. One Nordic bank analyst recently said he's actually the puppet master of the European Union with uh, all the other leaders sort of following behind his lead on a lot of policy matters. He is seen as a very sober, somewhat severe person, but is broadly trusted for making common sense and fair-minded decisions. Uh, in what is usually a very p partisan fray here. That said, polls clearly show that while Italians are appreciative of his efforts, they do not want him to turn what has been a sort of technocrat mandate, an emergency mandate, if you will, into a player's mandate where he becomes a politician. Yes, his current term will be remembered, I think, by three things. Some will remember it as, uh, as a tough year of high taxes and rising unemployment. It's a somewhat ungenerous but no doubt true uh, description of, the, of, the year, of his year in power. Others will remember it as the year when Italy took the bitter minutes necessary to, to keep the euro alive and to remain in it so that ultimately it, its uh, participation in the euro will be solid and beneficial in the future. There is a third element that I think will be also widely remembered, which is that Mr. Monti came and replaced Silvio Berlusconi, and inevitably there was a period where Mr. Berlusconi, who's been on the political scene in Italy for 20 years, had to leave, but nobody knew how to make that happen. Mr. Berlusconi shows no signs of voluntary exit as he plans to run in the elections, and Mr. Monti will likely be remembered as the person who ushered him off the stage.